And this is the last of the three economic statistics, and this one deals with inflation, which again should be a topic that most of you have heard about, but what we need to look at is what is it? Inflation basically means an increase in uh, prices. What is the equation for it? We calculate the um, inflation rate using the, typically using either something like the consumer price index or CPI or something like GDP deflator. And we do that for the CPI at least using a fixed basket of goods. And we just look at what is the cost of that basket of goods over time? How is the cost of that basket of goods changing over time? And as we me measure the percentage increase in that basket of goods, that gives us an approximation for what households are paying. GDP deflator is a little bit of a broader measure of inflation, and it's also not a fixed basket of goods. The deficiency with the consumer price index, the biggest one is the substitution, what's called the substitution bias, which basically means because it's a fixed basket of goods, you don't have individuals substituting away from goods that are becoming more expensive and towards goods that are becoming uh, less expensive. And that's because, again, it is a fixed basket of goods that you buy the fixed amount every month. It also is generally slower to take into account new goods. Um, and third, um, it doesn't take into account the fact that um, products are sometimes purchased um, at like outlet stores or through other kinds of um, trade kind of things. Um, people could be buying a used good um, in a different kind of marketplace and none of those things would be considered, uh, would be counted within the um, CPI. Um, the reason that I'll conclude uh, just introducing this topic at least to say at least that the one thing that becomes an important reason for why we do this is because a number of government benefits, a number of long-term contracts are all based on this calculation of what the inflation rate is.